did. Okay, looking for something Flash here good. on to Baker. He does have his Splash still. There's the Abyssal Voyage too. Oh, and he gets the Cocoon Spirit, able to line that up. Showing up. So the speed was still there, and an easy pickup leads to a big objective. Yeah, that's definitely massive there. Faker not even using his Flash. Okay, we got a fight up here in the top lane. Extremely close. Untara looks like he has the advantage, but the rest of the team of Afrika able to rotate up into the top lane. There's that Repel onto Untara. Spirit with another kill on his Elise. Over. The value of this Dragon is not quite high. Here we go again on this replay. He's going to dodge downwards, but the Cocoon. Flash Ooh. right on the edge. Great play from Spirit. League of Legends. Arma and Darwin just cracked the base with one Baron push, and that's the last thing you want to see. Okay, they're looking to trade a kill here onto Bang for that turret. Kuro is here too. And Kramer coming on in. They will give that kill over to Kuro. The mid tier one. This is what happens when Kuro leaves the lane to go for a gank. Oh, a huge trade up in the top lane. So close, but it's Utara with the stun in the end. Picks up that kill. And he ends up outplaying the former. That's a third turret going over to SKT. Here's the trade. See, this is exactly what happened in the previous time where Untara flashed out of the Cataclysm because there was minion advantage. This time around, Marin gets... After getting that extra gold overall. And uh-oh, Spirit caught out once again in the jungle, just roaming by himself. Kidnap is not going to be on time as a repel comes down, but a perfect shockwave from Faker will finish off that kill. Now Tushin on the run. No fates calling this time around, but will get away. Bang, trying to go deep against Kuro, taking a bit of dam damage himself, but will survive. <laughs> Trading back and forth. Here's Blank, tanking up that turret, and that will be enough to take him out. Supporting in if they need it. Faker does have his clash, so I think SKT is strong enough to turn if they want. The members of SKT are pretty low, but at the same time, Afrika decides to go on to the Camille. <laughs> they who, just have no vision. Yeah, they, they can't go to the Baron, so they decide to go for this, but with the hook shot. Oh, oh man, the flash coming out from Marin, missing Intara, and they don't get the kill either. I think he's been tilted off that 1v1 loss. It was Trinity so Force, and we're going to take another look here at Spirit getting cut out. Unfortunate for him to be the undoing of Afrika, but SKT punish it right away. And while the kidnap misses, the shockwave is on point. And Tucson commits to the flash. That forces the Fates call to save him. They can now engage with comfort onto Kuro, who thinks he's in safety under the turret. But you always have to account for Zaku. We still have yet to see his passive pop. Yeah. He's been alive the entire game, being torn apart. And you said the T word, you said tilt. It's looking a little bit like it. It's it's lack of consistency, and it seems like they've just fallen apart into the mid game, and SKT just doing SKT things. Two inhibitors going down, and I have to think that the big turning point for this game was when they went for the Abyssal Voyage dive onto the bottom side, where Kuro left the mid lane and lost control, and once that mid lane turn went down, it was all over. Yeah, Blank coming on in, gonna smack two heads together. <laughs> Kidnap doesn't get anyone. But uh, Tushin popping out, it looks like. Going to be dropped down here is extremely tanky. Marin trying to lock them in turret range. It's not gonna work. Bang with a triple kill on the back of it. Faker picking up one for himself. And finally, we see that Zack passive come through as SKT looking to end this one. They're the ultimate Cinderella story. Every time, Pumpkin at midnight. You want to love them. You want to love them. They looked so good in game one, but not going to happen. Another kill comes down, and the death timers are too long. That's going to be game number three going to SKT, who get another 2-1 victory. And Blank remains undefeated. Still the kingpin. Of you got you to gotta see that tongue in slow motion. That's what everybody wants to see. So. SKT, they do it at the end of it all. Uh, game one was kind of scary for a lot of SKT fans, but then once Blank came in, the guy who just can't seem to lose, things did turn around for SKT. Yeah, great teamwork, and we never got to see the...